Hey, hi viewers. Uh, today we are going to learn about a new topic called port channel. A port channel. So port channel is an Ethernet channel technology, and a port channel is uh, nothing but a aggregation of multiple physical interfaces that are mapped to one logical interface called port channel you it means that bundling two or more three interfaces together and map them to a single logical interface that logical interface is called port channel so why this concept came into picture i will explain through a lab here i will i had i already made one lab here there are two switches here one is in layer 2 one is layer 3 switch these two switches are connected with three cables so you might already know in switches by default stp will run stp if you just switch on the any switch stp automatically will be enabled and it will run so in this case also stp was running there are three cables which formed a loop here between these two switches because of this stp uh, started running it stp uh, run it it elected a root bridge and it also blocked two ports two ports which made a loop between these two switches and made one link active that is a common uh, behavior of stp but there are some disadvantages there are some disadvantages of stp or rstp so the so to avoid this a port channel came into picture so i will tell you what is the disadvantage and i will explain you so what is that is generally we let's consider rstp reverse spanning trip rapid spanning trip protocol rapid spanning trip protocol provides redundancy between these two switches in general in organizations generally we connect to two cables from uh, two switches and we will enable rstp what rstp will do when you connect multiple cables it will only allow one cable and remain it will block another port another uh, uh, link and it move the port to the blocking state so whenever that active link goes down rstp will run immediately and it will make the secondary link up so in this way you can achieve redundancy that's why so many organizations use rstp and still some companies are using rstp for redundancy a layer to redundancy so that is good news actually that is good for companies they don't need any manual uh, intervention to uh, again if the link goes down if again they don't need to come and to the data center hub room and connect a second cable make it up and then make this users access a uh, net network resources so automatically it will just fail rstp will fail over immediately secondary link came up will come up immediately after some time the user will be again able to communicate if one of the link goes down so that is a benefit of rstp still there is an advantage of rstp what happens here is i will i'm going to show it now i'm going to remove what uh, i'm going to remove the active link see green green is showing a first link that active link i'm in this link only traffic is going remaining two links are down so i'm going to remove two links now now there is only one link which is not active before now what will happen now what will happen i removed the active link from where the traffic is going now what will happen 
STP will again run the run again re re uh, arrange this topology and it will make this link as an active because the another link was not uh, not up so it was not up it was down so it will again stp will run again it will make this link up another link up what we happened just now this port was set down blocking state now it is become a root port between root port now this link is active now but you observed or not i i don't know maybe you can go back video again use it it took some time it took some time to stp run and make this port up this port didn't come immediately as soon as i removed the active link it immediately didn't turn to up it took some time and maybe the time is around 15 seconds till that 15 seconds what happened these users were not uh, these users were not having any connectivity to the other resources so this port 15 second network was fluctuated something happened user were not able to connect to client S suppose there might be wipe phone here user wasn't call and the network was down for 15 seconds what will happen the call will go off and user will not be able to uh, make that call success so to avoid this 15 seconds delay this is a disadvantage actually in rstp to avoid these things with port channel came into picture what port channel will do it will simply bundle this all these three ports it will simply it will bundle all these three ports it will make one virtual interface between these two let's say this switch will be having one port channel one logical interface this port switch will have one logical interface these three will be mapped to that particular port channel and these three will be mapped to the port channel that is configured in this switch and this virtual links will communicate not this physical links in between these two switches if one link goes down what will happen second link will still in on that group so the still that carries the traffic towards the upper layer i will show you now how to bundle these three ports how to bundle these three ports and i will remove one cable from here still the uh, these ports will be green and up and running i'm gonna do it now let's go to the lab enable let's make this switch as an access switch host name host name access let's make this switch as enable so just named it then we'll go to the interface how we are first you make this is connectivity between those two switches right what you need to configure on the switches which are connected between switches they are configured as a trunk links i'm going to configure now trunk links i'm going to configure all these three ports at one shot three ports as a trunk i'm going to just make basic configuration switch port mode trunk i made it that's it is configured now i'm going to configure port channel please check please see carefully interface p port channel 2 i have configured now this port also should have a same configuration that these ports are having these ports are having then only the port channel will be formed and running successfully now what you need to configure here switch port mode trunk they should have all this these three interfaces and this 
interfaces should have a same configuration they should have a same configuration then only uh, this port channel uh, ports will be moved to port channel map to port channel and it will work fine so i have done the same configuration i will just show you also see this port channel 2 is having same configuration port channel 3 4 5 3 4 5 are having same configuration then you just need what you need to do now to bundle these ports go to the same ports log and go to that interface configuration mode of these ports 3 to 5 right simply you can execute one command called channel group port channel what is the port channel number that you configured 2 right 2 give that number here 2 check the mode on configure the mode channel port mode on that's it that's it once you configure the port will be shut down and gone up and you can verify this port channel connectivity using this command show ether channel summary go here see this command shows the port channel configuration the port channel how it is formed see the port channel group number is 2 the port channel interface is po2 and the virtual this is the virtual interface i was talking about and what are the ports are there in this port channel to these three these three are mapped to this particular port channel now these three are bundled now this side also i'll show you how they bundle just i am configuring one port channel here i am making this port also trunk configure then go back to the physical interfaces what fa0 one two three i'm gonna configure f interface p interface Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna select all three interfaces. Let us show on sure. I'm gonna configure same thing. That's it. I have configured it. I'm gonna verify this uh, ether channel configuration now. Nothing is there. Why? Because we have not configured that command. No see this command channel group you have to you are going to map uh, the ports to the port channel now only see that port channel number what is the port channel number three mode on i'm going to configure this port channels in the interface configuration just configured port went shut down and came back now you see the same verify the same co command see this one now this group number three port channel number interface number three and these three ports are now in port channel map to this particular port channel so this ends the configuration part and you will see the port status now all are showing green previously when you are running if you go back to the video back to the first initial state these ports were unblocked blocked and orange they were in orange they were not up but in this but in yeah, as soon as i configured as soon as i configured port channel what will happen all these ports are up and running in port channel respective port channels and all three are an active state so instead of using one cable using RSTP, better to use three cables in the port channel. And also there is one more advantage, the bandwidth. The bandwidth cable scalability is achievable here. What will happen in a port channel, you know, as soon as you bundle, let's say this is fast Ethernet, right? Fast Ethernet speed is 100 Mbps. There are three fast Ethernet interfaces. If you add these three, what is the bandwidth? 300. This side 300. If you add this side also 300 so the uplink will be uplink bandwidth 
we can achieve is 300 mbps so previously when you are using rstp only one cable was active that was 100 100 mbps speed but this link between these two now in port channel can it is it can transfer data up to 300 mbps so bandwidth scalability is also possible in the port channel that is a benefit of this port channel that's why most of the companies now going for a port channel configuration or at uh, access level access level thank you this ends this port channel uh, concept thank you very much